LGBTQ youth are drawn to the Lakeview neighborhood in Chicago, but they need a safe space to relax, feel supported, and just be themselves. That's where the Youth Lounge at Broadway United Methodist Church comes in. It's a bi-monthly program serving between 60 and 70 youth. For a look inside the lounge, let's welcome Enos Brookins, Administrative Coordinator for the Youth Lounge. We also welcome Darnell Thurman, one of the youth leaders who began coming to the lounge when he was 17. Darnell now works as a preschool teacher and is the Youth Lounge Experience Coordinator. And we welcome DT, who began attending Youth Lounge when they were 19 and is now a student at Harold Washington College and often helps prepare meals for Youth Lounge as the lead chef assistant. It's so great to have you all here today. Thanks Thank you for, for having, having us. us. Thank you. So Ines, tell us about the Youth Lounge. What is it and how did it come about? So Youth Lounge is a drop-in center for youth um, in the LGBTQ community who are experiencing housing instability. Um, it started about seven years ago, uh, definitely just as a safe space for youth that needed that uh, space in the community. There were a lot of other programs for youth that were experiencing homelessness or housing instability, um, but they were a little more exclusive to the youth that are trans, youth of color, um, gender fluid youth, and that's really what Youth Lounge became, was like a space for those youth specific, specifically and any other youth um, that are experiencing housing instability that needed just a space to be themselves. Can you tell us how does this connect to the mission of the Broadway church? Mm -hmm. So Broadway is a very inclusive space. Um, we pride ourselves on being um, a space that's always open and affirming um, to people of different communities, to pe people of different genders, um, of different races, of, of different sexualities. And so Youth Lounge is definitely a part of its mission um, to provide a space for youth that encompass all of those identities. So let's talk about this safe space. What, why is this necessary? It's, it's just necessary because there are so many places in, you know, in Chicago and in the world that are telling youth, you know, what they need to be or where they need to go. Um, there's places that are really exclusive and, and are pushing, you know, these youth and young adults out. Um, and we really just need a space for people to know that they are loved and they are accepted and they can be exactly who they are. Um, and there's going to be a community of people there to support them. Um, and that's really what we try to do at Youth Lounge. So Darnell, will you tell us your story about how Youth Lounge impacted your life and uh, why you're still with the program? For me growing up as a teenager in Chicago, um, it was a lot of stuff I had to go through mentally and I had no place to turn. Um, my parents were both gone and I was adopted at the age. So I had to learn to like stand on my own two feet and take the world by storm and show that I could hold on. And Youth Lounge was there at the time. And a person named Vincent Wiggins took me under his wing and pushed me to know myself as a person engage with people more, don't be shy, and to just proceed to do what I wanted to do with myself. And he helped me complete goals that I needed for myself. And five years later, I became a preschool teacher and still working for Youth Lounge and became the coordinator, one of the coordinators. and to help people, which was always a goal for me, and to help them know that they're not alone, that they do have people they can lean on, and they have support in the community that they are, that they are in to, to know they self and to help other people become leaders in the community too. So it is, it's good. And I'm 24 saying this, so it helps. 
Wow, that's a pretty amazing story. DT, would you like to share your story of how you came to Youth Lounge and why you're still serving there? Well, the story about how I came to Youth Lounge is just through friends and what really drove me into the fact of like doing this program and stuff was I had a lot of the qualifications they were looking for and I felt like it was my calling to step in and do something that would be beneficial, structured, and can give me more skills than I already have. And like he said, Vincent Wiggins actually pushed me to get my schooling back in order, to move forward with things, start looking at like things more serious and from a different perspective. Tell us how does this make you feel now that you're working at the Youth Lounge to have been someone that received the ministry and now you're in a position to kind of give the ministry to the youth who are coming? Well, it makes me feel happy because I get to, get, I get to give back to the community as a person and to help people that are LGBTQ, that are struggling to know that it's not that is hard is about yourself and knowing what you can do as a person to change your own future. How do most youth come to know about the Youth Lounge and what can they expect when they enter the doors? I think that most youth just hear through word of mouth. Um, they hear from each other. We try to partner with other community organizations as well and let them know that we're open. Um, but a lot of it is youth coming in and then telling other youth about it and you know youth that are in the community of, of Lakeview and just you know coming in. Um, what we do is we have a home cooked meal every uh, youth lounge experience and people can come in and they can just sit down with with their friends with other people eat um, we then have dessert and then we split off into groups and different activities. So we do movies, we do video games, and um, we have art, just any really activity that people want to pursue or they can just hang out there and just enjoy time with each other. So you both have gone through this program. Tell us how important this program has been to you. Every time I come in, it's like I see the youth Sometimes it's the same ones, but I see the growth and I look at myself through it because with them alone, they make you flounge. We make you flounge. So it, it's, it's like our baby. So it's, it's our home, it's a second home, and it's the youth's home. And they come for the support and it makes us feel good because it makes us more engaging with them. It makes us want to help them even more to succeed in life, so, for me. And for you, DT? Um, for me, the way I look at Youth Lounge is like, it's an opportunity to benefit another person and maybe pick them up and get them on their feet or give them some sort of stability so that they can move forward with their life and it always makes me feel good that we do that and that 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 meal gives them some hope. Wow, let's talk about providing hope to the youth who are looking for a safe space. Can you share with us how that feels for you? Yeah, um, so we, we've always tried to be um, a space that doesn't necessarily push on people. Um, we don't push on them religion, we don't push on them uh, you know, education and, and, you know, different programs, but we have those resources. So anyone that comes in, like, like we have been saying, it's just a safe space for them to be. But if they want, um, we do resume help. We do job wow. search. We do, um, you know, how to get into different schools and, and do your FAFSA and stuff like that. So if they want those resources, we can definitely provide it for them on their terms whenever they're ready. Um, and that's always really important too, because sometimes you just want to come and, and be safe and be in a space. And then sometimes you're like, I want to do something different. Like, can you help me get these different resources? And we're like, definitely. And we'll do that for them. Thank you, Enos. Thank you, Darnell. Thank you, DT. I'm LaShondra Stevens for Different Drummers and the Greater Chicago Broadcast Ministries. Keep the faith.